Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today is a challenge video and we are going to be doing, well, I don't know what to call this because I would call it a left-handed writing challenge, but if you're left-handed, that's really easy. But I don't know what the word is for the hand that's not your dominant hand and, and the title of the video that's called the hand that's not your dominant hand writing challenge video is quite long. So I'm calling it the left-handed writing, the left-handed handwriting challenge, but with a little asterisk that says, unless you're left-handed, then do this right-handed. So if you're left-handed, do this right-handed. All this involves is you have to write one sentence and the alphabet with your non-dominant hand. So I am normally right-handed, so I'm going to be going left-handed for this. Um, and yeah, we're seeing who can do it neatly, who's left or non-dominant handwriting is an absolute state. Write out the sentence, hi my name is, well I'll do Catherine, but like you do your name, unless you want to say your name's Catherine, do that. So hi my name is Catherine and then the alphabet. Um, so the hi my name is Catherine, try to do joined up and the alphabet obviously separate letters and then send off a picture of your attempt because I want to see all of your attempts of using your non-dominant hand. I can't wait to see them. so bad. Just stop. There we go. Alphabet. Oh that's a wee bit easier. Joined up. That was what was really causing the challenge. Do you think if I practice this every day I would eventually become ambidextrous? How do I do a J? Like that. Because that's the dream. I'm just I'm not dedicated enough practice every day. It's just not who I am as a person. Oh. You know what? I'm not completely mad at it. I mean, it, I'm not going to say I'm proud of it, but I'm not completely mad at it. 